Hey, we're at Power to Max. We're here to show you how to make the swap from a Shimano crankset to a rotor 3D equipped with an NG or an NG Eco. As with any installation, you need a few basic tools. Here's what you're going to need to make the swap from your Shimano crankset to the rotor 3D. An 8mm Allen. You're going to need a 5mm Allen key. You're going to need a T30 Torx wrench, which we have on the Shimano crank tool here. You're going to need the tool to remove the Holotech tension bolt, which is uh, found on the back of the uh, Park BBT9 tool here. There is one available from Shimano. Um, you just need this tool. Uh, you will need a torque wrench to tighten down the bolts on your chain rings. Uh, we already have a T30 socket installed on it. And if your crank's a bit stubborn coming out of the bottom bracket, you may need to give it a whack with a rubber mallet or a softened hammer such as this one. Alright, so we're going to want to start the installation in the small chain ring. And we're going to also want to make sure that we take the pedals off the cranks before we remove it from the frame. It's a real pain to get them off after. All right, the first step is on the non-drive side. We'll use the five millimeter Allen key to loosen both pinch bolts on the non-drive side crank arm. Next, removing the Holotech tension bolt using the Park BBT9 or Shimano tool. After this, we'll use a small Allen key or screwdriver to lift up the crank's safety plate. When both pinch bolts are loose and the safety plate is up, firmly hold the crank and pull straight out from the bottom bracket. To remove the drive side, first check if the axle will slide out of the bottom bracket by hand. If not, use a mallet to tap free the axle. Next, from the drive side, remove the chain from the small chain ring, firmly grasp the cranks and chain rings and pull directly out from the bottom bracket. Next, place your cranks face down on a flat surface and remove the chain ring bolts using the T30 Torx wrench. Now remove the small chain ring, then feed the crank arm through the large chain ring. Set aside your old Shimano cranks. To disassemble the packaged rotor 3D crank arms and power meter, start by removing the crank tension bolt using an 8mm Allen key. Next, using a 5mm Allen key, open the rotor crank's pinch bolt. This bolt is double threaded to help open the closure of the crank. Do not back this bolt out all the way. Then, pull the crank directly away from the axle. There is a rubber o-ring shipped on the crank axle. Remove and set aside this o-ring. Feed the drive side crank arm through the big chain ring, making sure the chain ring pin is aligned with the crank arm. Then. Flip the assembly over to align the small chain ring. Look for a triangular tab or a small marking on the chain ring to align it with the crank arm. Now, replace the T30 Torx chain ring bolts. We only use the standard T30 Torx wrench to take up the slack before using a torque wrench to tighten the bolts between 12 and 16 newton meters. Next, ensure the chain goes over top of the axle and insert the axle into the bottom bracket. You may need to tap the assembly into place with the palm of your hand. Then, replace the chain on the small chain ring and give the assembly one more tap to insert seated against the bottom bracket. From the non-drive side, put the o-ring around the axle and against the bottom bracket. Now, slide the non-drive side crank directly onto the axle. Ensure it's snugged up to the bottom bracket. 
with the 8mm Allen key, thread in the crank tension bolt. Tighten it only enough to remove lateral play in the cranks. You can check this by grasping both cranks, rocking back and forth, inspecting for movement. If no play is present and the cranks still spin freely, tighten the pinch bolt with a 5mm Allen key. The unique design of Rotor 3D cranks only needs this bolt tightened between 6 and 8 newton meters. The last step is checking your shifting. There's not likely to need a big adjustment, if any. That's it. That's how you replace your Shimano crank with a Rotor 3D to start training with dual-sided, reliable power measurement on the NG or the NG Eco. If you want to know more about the differences between the NG and the NG Eco, click the link in the description below, and we'll see you next time.